humanoid robot is going to dwarf autonomy, which is going to dwarf Tesla's entire existing business. And investors have known this for some time to some degree. Otherwise, Tesla's valuation has never made sense. Well, maybe around IPO, you could argue it did, but it didn't take too long before investors were looking around the corner and seeing Tesla's longer term potential. But Tesla's been pursuing autonomy now for give or take a decade, and they're now actually operating Robotaxis in Austin, in California, and on the earnings call, importantly disclosed cumulative Robotaxi miles driven in Austin, now in excess of 250,000. In California, over a million. And Tesla actually disclosed some very juicy details on the call around their AI projects that will transform the business, including estimated timeline to remove at least some of the human supervisors in Austin in the Robotaxis, who are, by the way, in the passenger seat, not behind the wheel, aiming for around end of year, a couple of months from now. Also throwing out a rough estimate for future cities, probably going to have somebody monitoring for the first three months, give or take. Again, these are just rough ballpark estimates, but Tesla now disclosing internal goals and best guesses, which they've never done before. Also disclosing, although we could figure this out from public information, the intent to launch pending regulatory approval in eight to 10 different metro areas in the United States by end of year. And even more importantly, Elon Musk threw out his early estimates for Optimus Gen 4, which is, they're finishing up Gen 3 now. That's going to be about a million units of capacity per year, which is huge. Tesla's automotive business today, only about double that. But Gen 4 Optimus, following Gen 3, which is the first production model, aiming for 5 million units a year, and then Gen 5, 50 to 100 million, 